Hi everyone, it's Brittany from Create Your Future. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about what to do if you are not seeing any movement. You're not seeing any movement, not seeing anything changing, and you're getting frustrated because you don't know what's going on. Just before we get started, I just wanted to remind you that if you are looking for specific help for you know your specific situation, I am always available for coaching. Um, that link will be in the description box below to sign up with me. I also have a few courses that are available and you can find those in that link below as well. So, okay, this is a, a video about movement, no movement <laughs> rather, but also it's a success story. So I'm going to lead in with that, I think. Um, so this is a success story about one of my clients who was not seeing any movement whatsoever. Okay. It's exciting. <laughs> so I am going to kind of give you a little more information, I think, than I normally do um, when it comes to the client, because he actually asked me if I could. <laughs> he said that he thought it would be really mo motivating for you guys and it would be helpful. And he said he wished he would have seen something similar to this, like looking looking at videos and, you know, seeing something that was similar to his situation. So I'm going to share it. So, um, okay. When this client came to me, he had been consciously manifesting his SP for about seven months and he was not getting any movement. Okay. He, he wasn't, he wasn't seeing anything differently in the 3d, I should say. And something that I wanted to remind him, you know, from the beginning is I understand, I understand how frustrating it can be, but don't say you're not seeing any movement because there's always movement just because you're not seeing it doesn't mean it's not happening. I always use the example of, you know, let's say you are just going on about your day and you get a thought that pops up in your head about somebody and you're like, oh, I really miss this person. Um, but maybe you haven't spoken in a while and you're worried it might be awkward or maybe you got into an argument and you ended things in, in a not so great way. And you think about the person, you think about them you think about them, you think about them, you, you miss them, you wish you could talk to them, but then you say, mm, I'm not going to reach out. I'm, I'm just gonna, you know, wish them well. And this happens all the time, guys, when you're doing your affirmations or you're doing your techniques and you're saying like, my SP misses me. My SP wants to be with me. My SP is so in love with me. They're getting those thoughts transmitted. So they're going to be thinking of you. But you have to understand manifestations usually unfold in the most natural organic way. So it's not like the first time you affirm that they miss you and want to be with you, they're immediately going to call you as soon as they think of you, right? It's just, it's just not how it happens. So I like to remind people of that. Don't put so much emphasis on what they're doing or what they're not doing. Okay. Um, all right. So let, let's get into the success story. So when he came to me, like I said, he was manifesting his SP and he was mainly focusing on recreating his SP. Um, and I'm going to tell you guys what happened. So the way that they ended things, they broke up. Um, he, my client, um, long story short, lied, continually lied to his SP about something. Um, and he was feeling guilty about it the whole time. And of course, because of that, it got pushed out and SP found out and SP was furious. He was like, I can't believe you would lie to me. You know, we've been together for over a year and lying is the worst thing you could ever do. Like, I can't trust you anymore. I am so upset. I honestly don't even want to see you. You make me sick basically like it was bad it was a really bad bad argument and it, it was like a huge blow up fight basically and that's how they ended and sp blocked my client on all social media blocked him on his phone and made sure that there was no way that my client could contact him okay so then like i said he was trying to 
um, manifest the SP back for seven months. And he was mainly focused on the version of SP that he wanted to experience. And he was saying things like, SP is so in love with me. He misses me. He, he wants to be with me. Um, he's forgiven me. He doesn't even care. You know, he actually also at some point decided to revise the whole thing and revise that it never happened. And even though he did all of this stuff, he wasn't seeing movement. And like a lot of us do, he was really heavily relying on the 3D for movement. And I want to first off say, I completely understand when you see movement in the 3D, it's exciting. It's motivating. It's, it's almost like a relief. Like you're like, oh my gosh, this is working. Okay. I can keep doing this. I can keep going. You know, so I completely understand wanting that, wanting to see movement. But here's the thing, guys. When we say the 3D doesn't matter, circumstances don't matter, don't allow the 3D to dictate where your focus is and where your thoughts are, it goes the same for movement. You know, you are essentially looking, 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 looking in the 3D for confirmation of something to tell you you're doing the right thing or you're on the right track. And that is not helpful, okay? And, and I wanna say this too. I've had tons of clients who do get movement and they get movement pretty quickly and they're super excited. And it is, it's exciting. But at the same time, things will go the complete opposite way after a while. And they're like, what? Everything seemed like it was lining up. I was seeing consistent movement, things were shifting. Um, what the heck is this? And the bottom line is you haven't changed who you're identifying as, how you're seeing this person, how you're seeing yourself, really, how you're seeing yourself in relationships, how you're seeing yourself when it comes to this SP. Of course, this is just an example, but that's the issue. You guys can't use movement as evidence. It's not evidence. It's something coming from your old state of being. It's, it's a reflection. So movement in the 3D is not what you want. That's not what you need to rely on. Because again, we can't rely on 3D for evidence of what we're doing. We can't rely on the 3D to tell us, okay, you're doing the right thing, keep going. You have to know, you have to make a decision and say, okay, this is how I'm going to see my SP and this is how I'm going to see myself because of course this is who I am and I'm not going to waver from that. I am not going to let 3D dictate that. I'm not going to allow myself to dwell in whatever circumstances I experience because it doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is who I am who I'm being, who I'm assuming people are going to, you know, be in, in relation to me, how people are going to show up for me, how people are going to perceive me, how people behave in my reality. All of those things are what you need to focus on. So again, when it comes to movement, movement, what I say is, if you really want to look for movement for evidence or for motivation or, or whatever you want to call it, you have to look for movement within. Look for movement within. So what does that mean? Well, think about how you're feeling about the situation. Think about your mental state. Think about how you're feeling. Like think about okay, am I anxious when I think about this person or am I calm? Am I confident? Am I at ease? Do I know that my manifestation is going to come no matter what so I don't have to worry? Or are you constantly looking in the 3D for movement? Checking, checking, checking. And when you don't see something shift and you don't see something change, you're freaked out. You're worried. You're wondering why it's not here. There's your answer right there. Movement isn't happening because you haven't changed your identity. You haven't stepped into the version of this person who has their manifestation. And with my client, he was doing that. 
and <laughs> we we were only seeing each other once a month so every time we would check in he would basically say you know nothing different no movement um really not seeing anything i'm being consistent with my self concept i'm i'm i am you know making sure i see him as the version that i want to see him as and nothing's happening and i i realized okay you're looking in the 3d for evidence totally understandable i get that but don't fall into that trap think about yourself think about how you are have you been able to accept this new story about who you are? One of the things that he had said was, I'm very trustworthy and loyal and all of the people in my life love that about me. Okay? That's, that feels good, by the way. That feels really good to say. And he was saying these things, but he wasn't really stepping into that he was saying i'm loyal and trustworthy and everyone in my reality shows this to me or tells me that they love that about me and then he was looking in the 3d and then when he would see somebody show the opposite he would get upset he would say why can't people see me as trustworthy why can't people trust me why don't people see me as loyal because you're not you're not seeing yourself that way. You're telling yourself these affirmations, you're saying these statements, but you're not stepping into that. You're literally affirming, affirming, and then looking, looking in the 3D, looking in the 3D. You gotta just let the 3D be, be okay with whatever happens, because here's the thing, guys, and I really wanna remind you, nothing in the 3D is permanent. Nothing is permanent unless you want it to be. So the worst circumstances that you could ever imagine experiencing, they're not permanent. If you see them and then, you know, identify with them and say, oh my gosh, why is this always happening to me? Why aren't people seeing me in this way? They're never going to see me this way. Well, then it's not going to work. It's not going to work for you. It comes from you. You have to be the one to start this off so that everybody else can reflect it back to you, okay? So he was like, yeah, you're right. I really haven't been living as this person who has my manifestation. I'm telling myself I am. I'm telling myself this is who I am. I'm telling myself that I'm in this amazing relationship. But then the rest of the day, I am wondering when he's going to contact me, when he's going to unblock me, how he's going to even contact me because I'm blocked. You know, he was entertaining all of these other circumstances or possibilities that hadn't even happened yet. And he was making it so much harder on himself. Okay? Like, it doesn't have to be. If you guys just say, all right, you know what? I'm going to commit to this. I'm going to commit to you know, focusing on who I want to be, who would I be if I had my manifestation, number one, what kind of thoughts would I be having? How would I be living my life? You know, what would be different about me, if anything? And I'll be honest, things will be different. Not maybe what you do physically in the 3D. Generally, that's not different. But where your thoughts are, where your focus is, where your mindset is who you're identifying, that story that you're telling over and over again, your state, it's all the same. State, your story, your identity, who you're being, whatever. It's all the same, okay? So yeah, he was like, all right, I'll do it. I'll spend three weeks fully, fully committing to this, not, not worrying about the 3D, not trying to figure it out, not trying to, to look for movement because that was a really bad habit that he had. And he really, really did. He really, really committed to this. And I'm going to tell you, that doesn't mean he was ignoring the 3D. He wasn't ignoring the 3D. He was aware of it. He was seeing what was happening, but he wasn't allowing it to dictate who he was. He wasn't at allowing, he wasn't allowing it to change that story of who he is. He wasn't at allowing, why do I keep saying that? Wasn't it. He wasn't allowing it <laughs> to tell him who he is because you get to make that decision. You decide that. 
it's not based on circumstances. It's not based on 3D. It's based on who you want to be and who you know you would be if you had this manifestation. Okay? So, as you guys can probably figure, he did this and that's when the movement happened. And again, the movement first happened up here within. He had a sense of calm by the end of that three weeks. He was feeling so good. He was feeling untouchable. He was feeling like, you know what? I know my manifestation is going to come. I don't need it to come. I'll be happy when it does, of course, but I already feel amazing. I'm already giving myself everything that I want from this relationship right now. I'm already fulfilling that in myself. And that's exactly what you guys want to do. That is going to allow the floodgates to open and your manifestation to show up. It always is. It always starts from you. You're the person <laughs> that allows the 3D to conform to you. And if you're living as if you're doing techniques and then looking out in the 3D to see if it changes, you're doing techniques, you're telling yourself you're this new person, but you're truly not living that way, you're truly not identifying as this version of you, then nothing can move, nothing can change, okay? And again, you might get little things here and there, and that's exciting, I understand that, but it's not your manifestation. So who cares if you get somebody to text you or tell you that they miss you if you're not getting that full committed relationship that you want, right? So all that said, he was able to really just live as this person who had his desire and that's when things shifted. So what happened was his SP, first of all, unblocked him on, on the phone and then he unblocked him on social media. He didn't know, my client didn't realize that he unblocked him on his phone, but he realized he unblocked him on social media because he was on Instagram and he was looking at his story views and he saw that SP had viewed his stories. So of course he was like, whoa, that's exciting. That's different. But he continued on. Of course, my SP is going to view my story because we're in an amazing relationship. He loves me. He loves seeing what I'm up to. He, he cares about me, you know? So as he was seeing movement, he was reaffirming who he was, reiterating the story over and over again. Okay. And his SP reached out to him, of course. <laughs> and that revision definitely worked because he has, to this day, not brought up anything about the argument, about him lying to him, none of that. He said he missed him. He wishes that he was in a better place back when their relationship ended because he was dealing with a lot of stuff, um, personal stuff. And that was the reason why he couldn't stay in a relationship because he felt that he couldn't give my client everything that he deserved. Like, how amazing is that? I was so excited when, when my client was telling me all of this. And it was just so funny because he was telling me all this stuff and I'm like, oh my gosh, aren't you so excited? This is amazing. And he was like, yeah, I am. But at the same time, it almost feels natural because this is the type of person I am when it comes to relationships. Like, this is normal for me. Of course, the person that I'm in love with is in love with me and wants to prove that to me, wants to shower me with affection, wants to show me off to his friends and family, wants to brag that he has the most amazing boyfriend in the world. Like, that's normal for me. And even though... I am so happy to have this manifestation. It's almost just like that little confirmation that, yeah, this is who I am. I've been telling myself this over and over again. I've already decided that this was who I was. So of course it's going to happen for me. Like, guys, this is, this is so, so exciting and so important to realize. I get, trust me, I get it. Looking in the 3D, not being able to ignore it. And you don't have to ignore it. That's the thing. You are an observer. You see what's happening. 
and you remind yourself, if this isn't relevant to who I am, if it doesn't line up with who I am, I don't have to worry about it. It's not important. Because the more you see it and try to like pick it apart and figure out why is this happening? What does this mean? I've been doing all this work. It doesn't make sense that this is showing up. You are just allowing yourself to identify as that person who's not getting what they want, who's not seeing any movement. Okay? So, yeah, guys. I, I really hope that that was helpful. Oh, and I don't think I mentioned it, but they're back together now. They're in a relationship. Um, super happy. My client said that they're just kind of taking it day by day. They don't have any set plans for what's to come, but he's totally fine with that. That's what he wants. And he's just feeling amazing, feeling amazing about himself, feeling confident in the relationship and just enjoying spending time with the person that he loves. So yeah, I'm so happy for him. And I know you guys can have the same exact thing. You really just have to buckle down and stop allowing the 3D to dictate who you are. And you make that decision. You decide that. And then you stand firm in that. No matter what 3D is showing you or not showing you, you stand firm in that. Every single day, you show up as this person who has their desires. And I promise you, it's going to happen. Okay? All right, guys. I hope that that was helpful for you. Um, like I said, my client was totally right in saying that this would probably help other people because, you know, I'm sure somebody out there is going through something similar. And it's really just a great reminder to prioritize yourself. Make yourself the priority so that you can really see things shift for you. Okay? All right, guys. Thank you so much for being here with me. And I will see you in the next video.